In Parshat Vayisha, Yaakov has his famous fight with the angel. After winning this fight, Yaakov asks for a blessing, and in response, the angel changes his name to Yisrael. Yaakov then asks for the angel's name, which the angel refuses to give, and then the angel blesses him. Yaakov names the place Pniel, and the story continues with his reunion with Esau. This whole encounter is very strange. While I was changing Yaakov's name to Yisrael, the angel's immediate response to Yaakov's request for a blessing. And why is there such an emphasis on the idea of a name, with names being mentioned three different times, with regard to Yaakov's name change, the angel's name, and the naming of his place in this short story? This all points to the significance of a name. A name is not merely what someone or something is called. It is a much deeper reflection of who they are. This is a recurrent idea in Judaism, reflected throughout Tanakh as well as Jewish Minhagim. The Midrash says that one of the three reasons why God heard the Jews' cries in Egypt and decided to intervene was because they kept their Jewish names. Abigail, in speaking, about David, in speaking to David about Naval, says, Ki kishmo kenhu, for as his name is, so he is. There is a minhag of changing someone's name if they are life-threateningly sick. Some people even point to the word neshama, soul, and notice that the two min middle letters are shin and mem, shem, meaning name. A name would seem to be the key to the soul. Rashi says that Yaakov's name was changed to Israel so that it will no longer be said that the Rachel came to him through trickery and deceit, but with nobility and openness. Yaakov is from the same Shoresh as the word Akeva, meaning trickery. So this answers the question of why his name was changed from Yaakov, but what's the significance of his new name, Israel? The angel explains that his name was being changed to Israel, Ki Sarita Ima Okin Ve'ima Nashim Vatuchal because he fought with man and God and prevailed. Yisrael is commonly translated as wrestled with God. However, I think that given that every word from this Yod and Shed race Shorash is connected, it could be understood in another way. The second half of the name is clearly referring to God, the L part, leaving us with the initial Yod Shed Reish. Yashar means straight, honest, and God-fearing. But why would Yaakov's name be changed to meaning someone who is honest and God-fearing because they prevailed against God. It seems as if fighting a representative of God should entail the opposite. I think that this fight should be understood as a medical, metaphorical one, not a real physical one. In this fight, Yaakov gets injured on Kaf Yerichel. This word, Yerech, is the same word the Torah uses when describing where Eliezer placed his hand when swearing to Abraham about finding a wife for his son. What is represented by the fact that Yaakov gets injured in this place? Kafi Rafael then represents a place of truth and honesty. Yaakov therefore must be injured there as a midah connected midah punishment for his deceitful lie of taking Esau's blessing. And only then could he, his name be changed away from this akeba shorash of trickery and deceit. Once he has received his punishment, Yaakov, na Israel, has now paid for his sin and can truly prevail. He is now able to be fully honest and straight. It is then interesting that we, the Jewish people, are called Bnei Israel. A lot is in a name. So this name being chosen as the name for the Jewish people shows its significance. We see the importance of the name itself, the honesty component, and the idea of walking before God. The second, deeper and perhaps even more relevant component of us being called Bnei Israel is the fact that this is Yaakov's changed name. In this, we see the value of not just the qualities of being honest and God-fearing themselves, but also the emphasis on the value of the struggle towards these qualities and towards improving ourselves.